In this third part of the introduction to SPSS, we'll look at working with output files. As we mentioned earlier, output files can contain uh, text, tables, and uh, graphs. We can edit a graph by double clicking on a graph and that will launch the chart editor. In the chart editor we can make a number of changes to the graph and I'll focus here on making changes that are relevant for APA style. In general you can left or right click on um, parts of the graph so I've left clicked on the descriptives box and deleted it. Uh, I would like to get rid of the background fill color so you can see here fill and we knock knock out the color we can also get rid of the border which is not part of APA style click on that and then apply it's best for graph colors to be monotone so I've selected right clicked and now these are the colors for the uh, fill and I might choose a grey. Grey is generally better than, than black. Uh, we can also click into the axis uh, labels so and we can provide more descriptive labels. So life expectancy for females um, should be average life expectancy for females in countries around the world in 1995. The idea there being to be be as descriptive as possible. It's generally better to provide a bit too much detail than not enough. So once I'm happy with that graph, I close out of the chart editor, which takes me back to the output window. I can now right click and copy on that as an object and I can then launch a word processing document and in that document I will be able to paste control V the object. The next step would be to type a figure caption uh, average life expectancy for females in countries around the world in 1995 and you can check your APA style manuals on exactly how to format the caption. For tables I can uh, also go to the SPSS output and right click on a table such as this one go to my word processor and paste the table however there are several ways to paste so that was just paste as text if I right click I can paste with the formatting if I want the formatting but be aware that I then need to correct the grid lines um, which I'll show you how to do in a moment. This would be some, the caption would be something like frequency table of average life expectancy, etc. Uh, sometimes it's easier simply to insert your own table and build it from scratch. And in that case, with the grid lines, you would have. Uh, grid lines, only horizontal grid lines and you would only have them at the top for the variable names. So here's an example of the table now with grid lines and data filled out. If in doubt look in your APA style manual or look on the web for how to format tables and charts correctly.